Thank you very much for attending my third speech. I'm very grateful to have you in my audience. Before I begin, I'm going to take this moment to let you all introduce yourselves. Kate. Tori. Thank you very much. The importance of conservation. Each day, we use resources and technology that are easy to take for granted. We run water while we brush our teeth. We leave a light on for hours at a time when it starts getting dark. We toss out plastic into the trash can without a second thought. However, all of these resources and technology should, in actuality, be used rather sparingly. Today, I intend to persuade you to, at the very least, consider conservation. What exactly is conservation, though? Conservation is defined as protecting something of environmental or cor cultural importance from harm. And there are many ways to do this, even when it comes to tasks in our daily lives. One excellent way to conserve is through recycling. If no one were to recycle and we were to disregard it completely, our landfills would fill up and pollution would increase significantly. However, if everyone were to recycle instead, it would have monumental effects. It's been reported that even just one recycled can can produce up to 295 million new cans, or one plastic bottle from each can contribute to 54 million shirts. In short, an easy way to practice this form of conservation is to follow the three R's, as suggested by the National Ocean Service. Reduce, reduce, reuse, and recycle. You can reduce the amount that you throw away and help create new materials in the process. Another form of conservation, and one of great importance, is that of water. Using up too much water can lead to problems such as a lack of drinking water, and that which is used to water crops. And, and according, to the, according to the World Wildlife Fund, it's estimated that as soon as 2025, two thirds of Earth's population could face water shortages. Despite these har harrowing scenarios, however, there are actually many easy ways to conserve water. One way is to take quicker showers as it's been found that the typical shower can use up at least, at least five gallons of water per minute. Better yet, consider taking a bath instead, as even a completely filled tub uses up less water than a shower does. Another way is to turn off any unnecessary running water. That may sound obvious, but in many of our daily activities, such as brushing our teeth or washing the dishes, we let water run we're very prone to letting water run without thinking twice. When you, when you brush your teeth after wetting your brush, you might think twice about letting it run on the Finally, one other type of conservation, and one that I would argue is the most important, is that regarding energy. According to Inspire Clean Energy, using too much energy can have detrimental effects such as running out of our primary sources, such as fossil fuels and natural gases, and it could contribute to climate change and the devastation of ecosystems. Fortunately, there are a multitude of ways to conserve energy as well. One simple way is to turn off and unplug any electronics when not in use. It may not seem like it, but an electronic screen alone can use up to 60% of the energy used to power it. Another way, similar to water, is to turn off any unnecessary lights. It's habit to turn on our lights as it gets darker into the night. But even still, if there's no one in the room and no reason to really have it on, it's best to just switch it off. My main goal today was to inform you of and persuade you to practice many forms of conservation. To, from water to energy to plain traditional recycling, there are, there are indeed so many ways to consider. I hope now that I've been able to provide some perspective on these matters 
and to provide sufficient reasons to take action upon them. Thank you.